Hi, hello there, my fellow brothers, sisters, gamers, and anime lovers. This is a video that you've been asking me to check it out. And a lot of you have been repeating it over and over again. I get it, guys. I know I am going to do it right now. I'm not annoyed. It's just there's a lot of things going on, and I can only simply ask for your consideration that I, even I was busy during the holidays. So please stop spamming me. I'm doing it right now. But if you're wondering uh, why it took me so long, this video is 1 hour and 50 minutes and I cannot spend time with a long ass intro this time. So I have to play it right now and not waste any more of your time because this is extremely long. And let's get on with it. No intro, alright? Let's go. Interesting change of a home screen. I thought Cool Math Games got taken down. Gentlemen, welcome to the sixth installment of Five Nights at Freddy's. This is Pizzeria Simulator. We've had tidbits of Atari gameplay pop up, but how does pixel art relate to horror in any way? So we're gonna go back to pixel gaming this time? Don't or is judge this it just a by its game? cover. The entire franchise has been a case in point to that. I wonder how the death of William Afton will affect this game. Don't say that, I'm still processing sister location. Uh... We're feeding more kids? If not obvious, you have to feed pizza to the kids here. Again, Michelle would ring me dry for this. Uh, how do I give them pizza? Of course, the, the, bottom, the school lunch. The oh, you're right. Even I would be pissed Apparently if they, they changed school pizza. lunch These forcibly. These kids must be as wide as the Golden Gate Bridge eating like Depriving people this. of their choices. I wouldn't be surprised if they were the Golden Gate Bridge eating three whole pizzas like that is unheard of. Sorry for pausing immediately. Um, in my country, in the school cafeteria, we buy our choice. There are certain foods there. There are greens. There are every kind of food there and we get to pick not someone as not the cat the lunch lady will pick food for us no we pick our own food and we pay for it so uh i really disagree with that michelle bullcrap especially if i live in that country like you're gonna change what we eat and we don't get a say in it but it's for your health if i want to just shorten my lifespan to a certain degree that's my choice not yours is this the full game that we're playing? Do you have this obsession to pull the rug out from under us every time we start playing a new game, Joe? Your lack of faith in me is disturbing. Sister location. All right, Vader. Way too many trust issues. Well, there we go for that round. Oh, wait. Oh. Why is there another Freddy on the other side now? Looks like he's blocking key. your pizzas. Yeah, he's just following you. Okay, so I just have to plot a way to get these pizzas to the children. Again, I'm going to reiterate that this really has nothing to do with any FNAF game that I've ever seen. Apparently, you just forgot about every FNAF game ever. Why did his head just get bigger? And this is where everything spirals out of control. Oh, well, I don't really know what to do now. Did you just Soon break the, the game? Waiting for the pizzas. Was there shrooms in these pizzas? <laughs> Why is everything melting right now? Yeah, I don't know what else to do right All now. All right, uh, asking for an opinion. Do you guys like mushrooms? Because mushrooms aren't bad actually it doesn't taste that bad and i just don't understand the hatred towards hawaiian pizza if you just hate hawaiian pizza and that's pizza with pineapple ham and pineapple you've never tried it before i know it defeats the purpose of salty pizza with sweet juicy fruit there is a strange mix when you try and taste it for once sometimes we buy uh buy one take one pizza i think or two for a certain amount there are limited options on the other pizza so we go with hawaiian and believe me you me it's not that terrible you can't you should not condemn hawaiian pizza for no apparent reason unless you even tried it if you try it if you don't like it that's okay, we all have a preference. But don't go out and say that Hawaiian pizza is the bane of existence, a spawn of hell, or even the freaking abomination of nature. No, it's not. It's not that bad. If, you're, if you don't like it, it's probably going to be mid or at least below mid. Not the evil of the, not all the evils of the world. It's not Pandora's box. Now, Joe, what can we even do? Never mind, we're gonna die. Well, what do we do now? What is your favorite what the? pizza? Is that baby? By the way, what happened to being entered? And why does she look so decrepit? Why is it here? Well, what do we do? Oh no, you're gonna jump scare list. me. I don't wanna take my eyes off in this the intro. thing. There's a tape recorder there too. Just what exactly is going on? I know you guys are 
busy having a staring contest with this thing, but there's a tape recorder there for a reason. Well, let's just play it. Begin tape. Leaving dead space. Three, two, one. Who is this? The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions. You're not looking at it. It might be moving. Following audio stimuli. I don't trust this, this thing. Tape, yeah, me too. I hate that thing. You've been checking outside at the I hate end baby ship, because as you were instructed to do, especially in sister location. That meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph four. This doesn't Follow meet anything. Instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Copy Upon that. Sealing the room, you are not to return. Uh, oh, Begin uh, audio prompt in three. Did she move? One. What is going on here? We have something in front of us, and we need to document if it reacts at all when these sounds play. Is that what's going on? Document results. Well, I didn't see it move, so there's that, I guess. Begin no. audio prompt in We're doing it again? Two, one. Why do these audios sound like the apocalypse? This one was fan contribution. How do you make sounds this. like this? Document results. Unless I'm not noticing I don't take that anything, as an instrument. It's Begin audio it would be obvious, you would three. think. Are we not going to talk about how this is circus, baby? And what is. is with these Silent Hill sounding audios? What is the purpose of this? This one is really bad. I hate how she's smiling at us. It's creepy like... Like, what am I listening to? And then it when we look down... <laughs> I will say that. How long will this be going on for? Document results. Well, I guess that answers your question. And I still didn't see any Begin movement. audio prompt in three... Uh, Two, uh, one. What? Her eyes moved. Oh, Did no. you just see her eyes move? Uh, uh, are we gone? Yeah, are we done? I saw. Are we? Have we I'm met our demise? Lost on what just even happened? We jump went scare, from jump scare. to ghost adventures, all looped back into sister location, which I still don't understand. Why was Baby back in her old shell, anyways? Wasn't she merged with Ennard or something? Did she jump into a mud bath too? Why is she burnt to a crisp? It's a new day. There's it's more. What? Time to shine. <laughs> It's time to take your career into this your own This is different. Hands. What is this? From the original? Money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. Huh? A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success. Purple guy. Business. What is he talking what about? What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. We're That's owning right. this place. I want you in and me and not so. in that context, guys. That's Freddy. Success. He's going to freaking put sure, you in a suit. It's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe. No. We're only successful because I'm running it. Oh, goodness. This is going to be an experiment. Started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Billions. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. This will be very now, interesting. let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started Pro as tips. a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. I don't need Such help. I'm Donald Trump. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential now, to bringing in Now, watching that... Picture of someone eating at? a pizza Having makes a me want one too. Having a value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Uh, this is Point all common sense. And for you, can it's not so common for some people. During the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Donald's ear Health just perked up at that one. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. Exactly. There Somebody are gets steps it. You can take to ensure you don't reduce casualties. And that brings us to what kind of liability? Oh Donald's gosh. ballpark once again. You got to be smart. business smart but in this be aware world. Of that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. So of course, as you might. Daily oh, what? Lawsuits. There's also the risk that something might. Are we gonna buy animatronics that will own um... that steeply discounted price tag? Come again? Of course, Hiding? That would only be a serious danger if there were something outside. You can't prove anything. For months now. <laughs> what? We are not confirming to be the case. Uh, this lovely. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated Matt, to provide. That's a creepy, also, remember, creepy face. Are now the face that's the sus. Branded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Uh -huh. A lot of Fazbear money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Wait, what? So Not from responsible the looks of things, for death, disappearance, or dismemberment. The of heading and operating a restaurant. No, that's a free. No, that's a scary commercial. Entertainment. Essentially.
Uh, I actually expected this to be Donald's favorite game because a lot of it is pretty much business building. Give me the keyboard now, Obama. I'm about to make us all millionaires. Who needed a retirement fund anyways? What is this, a tutorial? Use catalog mode to purchase items, animatronics, and other supplies. Use blueprint mode to place items, upgrade items, and upgrade your floor plan. So this is styled to be like a tycoon game, huh? Something like that. Remember, it is FNAF, so there's still going to be other mechanics in here as well. Well, it looks like we're going to figure it out now. Let's start our entrepreneurship. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. How much? Great. Just a hundred dollars. Someone's not happy. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. And one of them is 30 you bucks. more expensive catalogs. So you'll only have 70 bucks after. Pizzeria. What the frick? Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. Balloon barrel. When you're finished shopping, 30 press bucks. the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. Is this catalog from a lemonade stand? Why is that thing unavailable? Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to A duck public. pond? All discount stuff. When you're stuff. ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished. Cooling unit is just an electric fan. And, and do some shopping. And believe me, we have I two for each one of us here. First. What are we working with? Are we in a log cabin? No, I'm not necessarily a businessman, but something tells me this is a serious fire hazard. This Doesn't is help that it, this it, is it looks a like it was built in a national park. different game. I'm surprised than Yogi I'm used Bear to. hasn't made an appearance. Wait, a sponsorship offer? Fizz Time Pop Incorporated is offering to pay for advertising in your establishment. Two fifty bucks. We haven't even opened yet, and we already have a sponsor. We'll be drinking liquid gold soon enough. How are the banners hanging? It's a loose floor plan. Now look at this, Obama. We can get some real upgrades going on in this place. Now we are cooking. Something tells me that you're going to be handling the entirety of this game, aren't you? It's like watching a kid in a candy store. Let him marvel at the fact that he's business building once again. Like I've said before, business is an art form, a beautiful art form. And we all know that you can't rush art. Now that we got our upgrades, let's go make some purchases. Notice on I'm the bottom modifying left that my filters specific a bit. categories that each item will attribute to. See, there's downsides of purchasing certain items too. How is there a liability risk with a ball pit? It's balls. Probably because it's out of a cardboard box. I think that's pretty stupid, not gonna lie. And none of these things are available. Besides that, I guess. Paper pals, and they add one atmosphere. How do you unlock For five dollars, why not? Seems like an easy purchase. What are you buying? And I'm getting the duck pond too. It gives us bonus revenue and has zero liability. That's a steal to me. Not really weighing out the options here on some of these decisions, are you? I'm right now, and you know what? I'm buying the balloon barrel. We need that bonus revenue. And we'll top it off with Tupperware. You guys unlocked a new catalog. Even though we don't have any money to purchase anything, you should take a look around regardless. From Walmart to way out of our price range. The bonus revenue off of these games would be crazy though. The stages look really well built though. Um, we could probably buy a, a real animal. This is such a strange spin-off of, of Fre too. Freddy Fazbear's. Obama, listen to this music. Ooh, it's a catchy tune, I won't lie. Almost like we're playing The Sims or something. Let's place that here. Yeah, and our that's nostalgia. Way, I even I've known The Sims when I was a kid. How good of a businessman I can be. I wonder what that does, the FAS rating. It's just a small reward system the game has in place. Hmm. Playtest? What the? We're actually grabbing the ducks. Something else I like about this game is uh, the variety of things you can do here. We still haven't even gotten to some of the major parts. So do I just pick a duck I out? I wonder what music this is. Is 100 points a lot? There isn't a key here to where I can tell. Considering you got three 100s, that might be the common choice. Great, the game hates me. We have 400 FAS rating though. I see there's something called play tokens at the top, right? What are those for? You're playing with the ducks again? Of course I am, I need more FAS rating. I need to get those quick dopamine hits. Going back to the tokens, those are how many times you can play test the games. The mini games do give you FAS rating, after all. Well, this okay, is the what balloon balloons? game that we can test out. Okay, well, how do you play? What? I'm at a loss of words right now. You have to remember that this game was made in the mid 2010s. Looks like you didn't dislike it that much. A businessman is savvy and knows how to properly utilize his business and his profits for maximum efficiency. And we just got a hundred extra dollars. Now it's time to turn on the jets. 
So is this all the game is? No, there's still other aspects, like I said. Donald is just taking his sweet old time to set up everything here, rightfully so too, because he's probably attacking this from a, a business-like standpoint. Something tells me that we might be here for a while. This is why you guys should trust me with business decisions. From $100, I've been able to upgrade the outhouse into something beautiful, very beautiful, and that will make us a lot of money. The hell is it better that? because you spent every last dollar in our piggy bank investing in this place. It's called tactical spending. All of this money that'll swim into the bay will be used tactical. for reinvestment. It's like an infinite cash glitch from GTA. Well, now that the actual floor plan design is what done, what GTA are we talking about? The other aspects of this game. Because if you're gonna go San Andreas, it's just the so entirety yeah. of the sixth game. Obama, pull He's up those so trousers yeah. and tuck away any unwanted phallic imagery from your wife. Huh? Your restaurant is now officially open. What did he say about so easy. Obama's wife? Your job is finished, however. Wait, you what? Oh no! Do Don't tell me the night shift. The other room. That was so the day shift. Here. You have supplies oh, no. to buy. Papers to print. Oh no! <laughs> There's vents with no doors. Care of all the items Why isn't there bars in there? Like, for the day it can be locked. There. It's basically Money taskless, so that shouldn't be too hard. Petty cash. So don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. What even is all this? The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. That might be convenient. Now, onto other matters. Obama, take Something the keyboard. Of, of course, you shift responsibility to me once everything hits the fan. Quite literally, you might add. You from hearing things in adjoining air vents. If anyone's going to be the security time, guard, it should be Donnie. The He's the best. Thanks, Donald. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you oh, have a no. few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. I See, think there's no animatronic ad. yet. Then why can't you handle it, Mr. Business Aficionado? What the? Is that an ad? This is my own desk station. How am I getting advertisements on how to operate a business? Also, event will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Sort of like FNAF 3. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Definitely now like FNAF 3. It. Simply log off when you've completed Silent your Silent ventilation, for what? And you can. Silent ventilation is a secondary ventilation system that runs in the background, creating minimal noise. FNAF 3. Simply log off when you've completed your So you won't have access to the motion tracker and the audio if you're using the vent well, to cool to down Donald. the place for not being able to handle his own workload because now I'm stuck with dealing with the grunt of the purchases. All I said was that there was two open vents and that's not something I really want to deal with. I've done enough this game regardless. It's about time you did something for once. World's best security guard, by the way. Don't forget businessman. Well, we talked a lot throughout that whole scenario, so I'll recap what he said. Basically, you just gotta hit these buttons and do these chores to complete the shift, if you will. With that being said, you have to be alert for anything that may come up to your vents. Oh, who boy. do we even have to worry about in this place? No one yet. There's been no explanation on who any antagonists are. Are we just going to run and operate a restaurant? You already know. The logic of the lore is that anything can happen at any time. As such, it's important to stay on your toes. Why did it shut down? Regardless if we don't know what we're facing. Typically, you're introduced to whatever foes you have to deal with. No matter what the situation calls for, I'm always going to be on my toes. I've learned from this game that one too many times with my back turned is not a good idea. You don't want to get your back blown out. Excuse me. Great job. It looks like you're getting out of this. That was... Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. Really easy. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Who's dying Make this it time? through Saturday, <laughs> and you will have Five nights again. as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Well, this is a very interesting game so far. In fact, I can't wait to see how William Afton murders people in this one. I think there's a sheer sense of irony with how we keep having to mention his name. I think everybody knows what I'm going to say here. Congratulations on completing your first day. Great. However, your job isn't over just yet. Not great. There is another aspect to your end of day routine. <gasps> Whoa, what is that? Oh, Freddy drowned who's in lava. this? Any animatronics found is that Freddy? He doesn't look like it. His color is, or maybe the paint often. is faded. And while we aren't sure why, what we do know is He won't move if I put this up, parts, right? No clue. Which can I can fill this out already? No! Similar to what we did at the start of the game. Day. Of course, 
as with everything else in this line you have to do the test i think just like before surprise surprise thing to do is to throw it back outside but then you get no money for the salvage of course you choose to keep it and you run the risk of certain negative consequences namely death well of course look at that thing docile as it first appeared docile if you do decide to try to salvage it then you must complete the maintenance checklist and that's the sheet testing phase Check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. Oh yeah, you we got a three taser. Times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. It has value? Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origin. It is your job to I guess I'm filling it all out, huh? Does this mean we don't have to complete the checklist? Why did you no, fill it out without testing? You You'll just, just have to flip to the up the sheet. Where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Well, Don, since there's money involved, what do you want to do Proceed here? with salvage. Give me a second to think about it. Well, we Proceed have... with salvage. You really meant <laughs> a second there. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Give me a second. Remember, if you give me a minute, I'll wait for him. The well, there goes the checklist. State. Didn't think you would do that, bro. Hopefully that little fun doesn't cost us. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Hear that, Obama? Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. I'll tell you what. What are these, these sounds? These audio prompts Is it remind me of siren Machines? It's like or I dropped spirits? a speaker into a bath. Document results. I already filled everything out. I just have to flip the card. I think so. I saw him move. Shot him. Or should I wait till after the second audio prompt? I'm not trying to get wait. jumped, Obama. Do it now. Okay. There. And now he's back in place. Remember that we can only shock a total of three times for the thing to be salvageable. I just don't want our business to go down the pipes because your head got chomped off. Document results. He moved again, Begin but I really don't want to shock, if I'm being three. honest. It's your head getting ripped off from my business. Yeah, but there should be other phases of moving. If he twitches again after this sound, I'll hit the buzzer. Who what put are these diesel sounds? gas in a Honda Civic? Document results. He just leaned forward. There. He's gonna try and I bite just you. Him. Stop whining. It's my business you're costing here. He backed off. Chill. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Is this the same audio? Or why do they keep feeding tree stumps to lawnmowers? Document results. Okay, wow, no, that's talking about instant now. aggression. I'm shocking again. That was the last shock we could use before it gets damaged. All I'm saying is that I'm not getting treated like a chew toy, Obama. And here comes the insane asylum. What are these sounds from? Where did it even come from? Someone tell me, please. It's still going on. How is it still going on? Is this supposed to happen? Maybe I should have just scrapped it. This wouldn't be the first time you faced a casualty under your decision making, Obama. Document results. Is that it? You have completed the maintenance checklist and okay. may proceed with the salvage. Well done. End tape. Yeah, we're good, Obama. Yeah, I know we are. Thanks for letting me join the party. I'll try not to disappoint. Nice voice line. How do we even get a hold of this heap trap? I think it was sitting outside of the restaurant. So it and means we're not going to question that. Going for our you. Our official statistics for our oh first boy. day. 40 customers isn't bad. Look at that revenue, guys. Look at how I've single-handedly established Lawsuit. a profit with my expertise. No loss. If we had more than a waiter's tip to start off here, we would already be millionaires off this. That was one day, Donald. We've only bought all the basic stuff. We still have to explore the other catalog. Oh, please. Have you seen the plans we have for this? This place will look like as gussied up as the Clinton's bedroom when I'm done with this. I don't what? know if that's a brag or not. Now let me teach you silly willies a primary lesson in the world of business. I wonder if other presidents will appear in these kinds of shows. For the I'm interested. Of Why are you what about George? Like what about kids? Bill? Our large sum of income will flatline if we don't make constant improvements in the world of business. The art of business includes reinvestments, a lot of reinvestment. Treat every dollar like it's the last one to your name. 
Understand the value of the American dollar and mark your purchases from there. Donald, you're playing FNAF on a Dell laptop. It is sincerely Dell? not that deep. The depth of your pocket is determined by the stature of your character, Obama. It's not my fault if you end up completely broke one day and that one dollar you didn't value could save your starving stomach. I need two dollars to buy from the dollar menu. A product of your own making, Joe. And would you look at this, we have another sponsorship. The business surely is booming already, thanks to me. Marty's, Marty's Plungers LLC is offering to pay for advertising in your establishment. What? I'm not an investor, but something tells me that plumbing advertisements don't do well where kids are. My guess is that they're trying to reach the parents of the kids. I'm not here to question the weak decision-making of an investor. I'm here to take advantage of that weak decision-making. I know you're already comparing prices in the catalog, but there's still a problem. Before we continue, do you remember getting an ad for Fizzy Pop when I had to do my tasks after this? You mean all over the restaurant? No, afterwards, when we didn't have anything to do with the floor plan. This sounds like another attempt to gaslight me. Don, with all due respect, what do I gain from gaslighting you? Humor. Okay, what else do I gain? You're talking about the monitor near the small office, right? Yes, that. It my will guess alert is that anything in there. Because it makes too much noise. So if you keep accepting sponsorships with no purpose, it could make the tasks more difficult. And we don't even know what we have to deal with. Deal. Oh no. Another advertisement. So that's two. Well, at least you can upgrade the floor plan now. That probably just made my job twice as hard, Don. Then work twice as hard too, just like I am. Look what you did now. There's a sign on each table. It's like an actual plunger after getting done with the clogged toilet. I would appreciate a peek into how the advertising works before I accept it. These types of games do nothing but constantly attempt to sabotage me. Yeah, just don't accept responsibility for hog tying my feet together. At least you can buy your upgrades now. <laughs> and leaving and it to the freaking wolves. And then the gumball machine. We're going to turn this oh place boy, into the Oh boy, Barack's gonna have a nightmare after. The Home Alone sequel nobody asked for. Donnie's the day shift, too. Barack's yeah, the night shift. Night and Joe's just They really did a extend passenger. the things you can do in these games. Yeah, you, you're speeding down a highway and you have to dodge cars. Why is the music so intense? Probably because we're speeding down the wrong way of a highway. I think that would be pretty intense. Well, these cars have nothing on the world's best speed racer. You're just the self-proclaimed best at everything, aren't you? I don't want to hear it, Joe. You're the type of man to let the toilet paper roll go over. Yeah, that's what common sense teaches you. Also, really weird time to bring that up. I feel like you know what I'm going to say here. Plus, who wants to reach past the roll to get the toilet paper? Yeah, that extra millisecond of time that you're saving will really come in handy when it's your turn to deny allegations. Leave it to Donald to bring... Look what you did, Obama. You made me crash. Never mind. Leave it to Donald to blame others for his mistakes and bring irrelevant arguments to a topic that nobody asked for. Yep. Well, now we're here and it's my duty to let you know just how wrong your stupid opinion is. Have you ever considered that when you put the roll on the oversight, it's bringing back way memories too easy from the old the family computer games. Funnel out of there like a printing press? I don't need a mess on the bathroom floor just reaching for paper. You know, you completed the game, right, Donald? That just goes to show I'm the best drunk driver there is, even drunk? with Obama yapping in my ear. Wait, best what? Donald, you buffoon, are you even aware of how many bacteria are in the bathroom? Well, so much lands on the toilet paper when you flip it to the under. Why does that even matter? I'm not injecting it into my blood veins after bench pressing, I'm simply wiping the toilet messer with it. See what you're doing? You're making me buy more things because you won't shut up. Gentlemen, with all due respect, That's this is your probably choice, the saddest you state of I've seen you guys what get into the debate. Hell? Oh, look, I'm buying more stuff now. Sales tax is going to hit like a brick, Obama. What and I didn't even buy the right stage. So much for passive income. Yep, the more I think of it, the more I realize this has to be the saddest thing from both of you. What about the time Donald called Chica a Coke bottle? Second saddest. It wasn't a compliment, it was a question. And what about the time when Donald was talking about spring traps junk? Third saddest. There's no way you weren't curious either. And what about... You can stop now, Brock. The damage is already done. And just like that, I have the FAS rating strat locked down. What do you mean? I simply stay to the side and all the other cars pass me. You were saying? You say as you crash through a head-on collision, Don. Well, maybe if these stupid drivers could see reckless driving, they would yield. Wait, what? What the... Why'd the game change? We didn't have this last time. What the Just keep hell driving is this? On the road. Oh, How don't tell me this, this is the How should lore I know? minigames. I was probably texting and driving. 
I'm surprised you didn't answer about a chauffeur. Now we have a fork in the road. Which way do we go? My this way. Never mind, Obama. Wait, someone's there? Actually, before I go, let's see where the other path takes us. Yeah, that other one might be the end of the game. Why is the music fading? Also, do you hear that static? You notice how the road is closing too? It's like Lightning McQueen is walking Now the you plank. can't go back. I'm starting to think we should have gone the other way. Wait, we're getting out? We're yellow. Someone soiled the bed this morning. Is this our house? Oh, you went back home. Someone's house. Maybe ours, but probably not. Classic breaking and entering, possibly starring William Afton. Well, the game style changed again. And we got in. Who's this? Leave him alone tonight. He had a rough day. Who am I being rough to? If it's my son, he needs to stay off incognito mode. I told you not to close the door. How do you not have keys to your own house? This is my house. He can't ignore me like that. Don't mind me, honey. I'm just getting the belt to put on. It's for style, that's all. You never know with William Afton. Open the door! Speaking of, why does this man only have a single bedroom in his house, not even a kitchen or a bathroom? I think the biggest question I have here is why does his wife look like him? Some freaky genetics. No wonder his son stays in his room. I'll find a way in from the outside. Honey, I left a bourbon bottle outside. Also not to be used in a questionable fatherly way. Kind of interesting how we have to go around our own house. I'm still lost on how we even got here. I was just trying to play Jetpack Joyride down the turnpike, and all of a sudden I'm a trailer park dad jet coming home from joyride. his office what job. What the frick are you talking uh, Well, someone had too much yo-yo action back here. Footprints, too. He ran away. That's the last time I let Baron use my slinky. I'll tell you that much, Obama. Ran off to that place again. He will be sorry when he gets back. Well, isn't that great? And the game ends there. And as we close out our second day in blueprint mode, what have we learned? Drunk driving has its benefits. <laughs> testing, testing. Do I sound like a lactose intolerant gerbil? You sound fine. Also, you said your voice was good during the recording. Oh no, this Post is gonna clarity be- clarity hits more than just nuts, Joe. All right, so uh, who wants we to explain someone. for people out of the loop? I'll do it since it was my blunder. Don't inhale helium this time. <laughs> so about a few days what ago, What does Donald Joe sound like with helium? Oh yeah, I forgot this thing went off in the footage. To the point where we had to redo our build. At the time, I saw an opportunity to upgrade our current microphones. We then tested it out with a playthrough of Pizzeria Simulator. Except it wasn't an upgrade at all. It made us sound like we smoked in memorial of Snoop Dogg. This change received quite the bit of backlash, and after a bit of panic, I decided to take the video down. That's when I stepped in and decided to upload an explanation. And now we're here, watching our old footage that we already recorded. Why are we even watching it? We know what happens. It's not like it's our live reaction. Some pretty important stuff went on this episode. So it's not something I can just bypass or skip. Think of this as a director's cut sort of video. So now what? We're just doing a Sniper Wolf reaction video? Let me get my pug face ready. It would be really weird to upload a part three we don't if we talk skip about the whole her. salvage. We know even what happened. Even if our voices sound like chipmunks. Right, so basically you're still gonna see the gameplay, but we're talking after this was recorded, if that makes sense. So it's not our live reaction. We're just going to add bits and pieces for the people that missed it. Okay. Am I doing the pog face right? Oh, goodness. Never oh my gosh, that, that picture, again. stop, like no. This has been a very interesting week, to say the least. First, Obama makes me break the laptop. Excuse me? Next, Joe changes our setup and almost creates an uprise within our community. Yeah, yeah, I did. And finally, we're over here playing sportscaster with our footage. Realistically, it could have been a lot worse. There could have been a universe where we pushed through with our decision. I know I'm pleading my case, but it really didn't sound that bad on our end. Then we uploaded it, and that's where, where everything he? went down the gutter. When you think about it, it's really kind of funny. Um, someone said in the comments that it sounded like we smoked on some Zaza, whatever that is. I assume it's illegal substances. Listen, in all honesty, let's someone just explain it as a that. I don't know what that is. Move on with our lives. Well, now, what do we talk about? The only za I know is time pizza. Because our genuine reaction isn't in the video. We can laugh at your misery while Molten Freddy tries to merge you into a lava pit. If anything, now you guys know how the office part works. And now you know that it isn't an after hours type of deal. This is when the restaurant is busy and thriving. Yeah, all while every single robot with a Samsung chip in it is trying to rip us into two. You got it down pretty easily, though. Where Look is right he? Where here. Is he? You were able to lure Molten Freddy away with that audio cue. Donald would probably be screaming so loud that we would have died instantly. 
You're clearly doubting the world's best security guard and businessman. Where, why I is think that, you should be reviewing why your is own taking actions so long before you judge mine, Sleepy Joe. How did you power through that thought when there was an ad blaring in your ear? An insult at the end of the tunnel keeps the train chugging, and I needed to make a point. Can I ask why the tasks are so loud, Joe? Older printers and computers are being used yep. in here. They That's are why loud. We're getting a whirring if noise you don't whenever know, we do a task. No wonder Molten Freddy was after us. We were performing a Super Bowl halftime show in here. You're actually not wrong, because depending on the task, it will create more noise, and that can always attract an animatronic. But there's also a way to reduce that noise level. That would really help if we found out how we could do that. There goes our company budget. On the main menu, if you hit the equipment tab, you can upgrade certain parts of your task machine. This will allow tasks to be completed in half the time. I can only guess that they cost an arm and a leg to purchase it. And I don't know if Penny Pinching Don is willing to open his pocketbooks for that one. Yeah, probably not. Won't you be the one completing the office work during the next day? Start writing the check, Obama. <laughs> and this is when we finish when it our concerns shift, you, we move on to salvaging splurge. Trap. He's of actually course. doing scrap trap in this game. If it's Brock, His actual name should be the bladder bunny because he pees on himself. Be stingy. Instead of visiting on Easter, he visits when you have kidney stones. All right, who's really next? really proud of that nickname, aren't you? Oh. You know, in hindsight, we really we should have this thrown is. this thing back into see. the alley. I can tell I mean, who it is there's now. a literal carcass stuck in that suit. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. We're looking at a replay of the video. Are there no blood stains on I this damn I wonder if our audience suit? even knows what's about to happen. Great foreshadowing, Joe. <laughs> like, how are we supposed to know? I always come back. How did you Wait, fail? I didn't you hear got that the first time we you just this through. Pushed what does that mean? I always come back. I didn't know the Terminator was playing dress up doll. Well, you know the story be behind back. William Afton, so you can assume that he's clearly back for something. Whatever. This game is unrealistic anyways. I would have taken Piss Trap to the ground with a Heimlich maneuver. Are you seriously on that again? The question is, since that thing, since William got free, did he kill an employee? Because someone is doing the checking, it's impossible that it's you because you would be dead if, he, if William jump scares you like that. So what, did you just lose an employee? Wait, hold on, Obama. The good news about watching this a second time is that I can feel the joy of making some big money. How did we even get any visitors beforehand? We had a mop bucket and a googly-eyed basket as our animatronics. Because big business calls for some big decisions, and I decided that we needed to make some cold, hard cash that day. <coughs> it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and let me just tell you, I'm really good at eating. I think you did more than told us, Don. You ate an entire dinner box from McDonald's before we started recording. Calorie overload. Dinner what does Gabriel box. Iglesias say? I'm not fat, I'm fluffy. And that's something Garfield would say. <laughs> now, if you remember here, we accepted True. the sponsorship yet again during the original time oh, no. we recorded here we go. this. Do you regret that choice, Donald? Nope. Not even a tiddly wink of regret. You haven't played through the office yet. Just wait until you have a compound of animatronics rushing after you like it's a triathlon. Good thing I played sports back in the prime of my youth. I'll unlock my inner beast by defending myself from these monsters, just like it's the first game. I think I just physically recoiled and cringe after hearing the term inner beast. beast. <laughs> also, this has nothing to do with accepting the sponsorship, Donald. Like I said, I don't regret it. After the disaster that happened with Joe and the microphones, and then William Afton invading my personal space, we needed the break on funding. This is just a straight yapping session. You see, in the original video, we were commenting on how the sponsorship didn't take up too much space. Now we're talking Freaking about messages. bladders, comedians, and McDonald's. We really have devolved. You know what's funny, guys? Dare I ask? When our setup went down the tubes, I thought about changing our cameras, too. Why would you ever do that? Just to put a cherry on top when it comes to improving the quality. You really are full of bad decisions. We can take a look at them really quickly, if you want. Won't that Rockstar block the viewer Freddy. experience when they see what we buy? Spoiler alert, Donald flips his lid when Lefty is $5 and buys it without a second thought. And I do it again. Well, here's the picture that I was going to use for you, Donald. How did you even get this picture of me? When you were looking outside the window waiting for your door dash. Is that what you were doing with that camera? I thought you were just commemorating my glory. There's simply no way that you thought that. I really did, Obama. I really did. Anyways, your thoughts on putting the camera here? It's too bright, very bright. Also, my camera right now is fine as it is. Wouldn't he also be standing towards the window the whole time? How would he even know what's going on? It was very possible that that was the intention. Nice try, Joe. 
Like the comment said, I'm here to make America game again. Now, this is the camera that I got for myself. Did you go space exploring? Why are you in the middle of a black hole in that? How do you even set up a photo like that? Are you acoustic? I was These going to are say impressive challenged. AI Wait, pictures. Wait, why does that roll off the tongue so fluently? Obama, I think you just blessed my vocabulary. Are you aesthetically challenged, Joe? No mercy today, huh? You did <laughs> too much light for me and no light for yourself. Where is the balance? I'm still wondering how you even set up this camera. I simply put a black tarp behind me. I was trying to recreate the shot that I have now. Then use a green screen. Don't throw yourself in a cave. I guess that's a no then, huh? Yeah, I'm not a fan. I think you already know what Don has to say. Right. What about well, Barack? the last one, which is yours, Barack. Oh, Wait, that's, that's better. actually really good quality. When did you get this? A while back, I, I think when you were starting up Sister Location. You have the premium version of Obama in this. You can tell he writes in cursive. I don't mind this, actually. It looks pretty smooth from appearance. It's better than the original picture. You can try it in picture. the next video if you like. Well, I wouldn't mind so, but I want our community to actually approve as well. Yeah, don't make any decisions that'll throw you on a ventilator, Joe. Got it. I'll make a community post about it when I can, Barack. Because change worked out so well last time. Well, that, that's where we left off, right? I, uh, the summary of this video was that we completed the office, the lost the thing? spring trap salvage, upgraded the stage, and bought What is that lefty, animatronic right? in the left? That and another Freddy animatronic. Right. You never did answer me. Why are they all hitting the nay-nay? I said this last time. I don't know. They're kind of cranking it, though. Except for Lefty, his neck seems like it's an axle away from becoming a helicopter blade. Like he's trying to hit the whip. Joe almost had us killed because of our mic change, so that can't be as bad. Like the dinner box, you might eat those words, Donald. I am the candy Fourth episode. Dentist. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day, every day. Candy, candy, candy. How do I even begin to react to this? I guess by getting ready for whatever. Return to Candy Cadet again, and maybe I will tell you a story. I, I, uh, what? That was, uh, certainly interesting what? to say the least. Danger Will Robinson over here. Just to save you guys the tokens, Candy Cadet will tell you a story, but the lights on his suit have to be matched a certain way for him to tell one of those stories. So it's basically all luck of the draw. RNG, I always hate that. Gamble that. Or not. Just so I can hear the wild side of a robot and his weird nighttime fantasies for a thousand faz points, no thanks, I'll keep my tokens for something useful. I, I, uh, what? Come to think of it, I don't think we ever tested this game. What? Fantasies for a thousand faz Just so I can hear the wild side of a robot and his weird nighttime fantasies for a thousand faz points, oh. no thanks, I'll keep my tokens for something useful. <laughs> no wonder I, Joe went I, what? Uh, what? Come to think of it, I don't think we ever tested this game. Nighttime fantasies. Oh, Have you guess, ever uh, read fan fiction before? Right because a there's a lot of too messed much to up things these people keep getting in situations different like a fruit areas movie? of that freaking... <laughs> Did a child just pop up on the screen and give me epilepsy? I hate that flashing. Does that answer your question? The more fruit you collect, the Warning more Warning to anyone, if you know, After there are going to be a lot of flashing the lights you there. Can play. Well, Sonic has nothing on me. Call me Barry I have Allen no problem I'm about with it, to flash but I don't here. know about you Donald, guys. I'd prefer it if you kept your pants on. I think we ran about world stuff. Sorry maybe. for talking over the video. Um, we're not trying to keep on pausing too much. All right? The more fruit you collect, the more that will happen. After all, it's extending the time you can play. Well, Sonic has nothing on me. Call me Barry Allen the way I'm about to flash around here. Donald, I'd prefer it if you kept your pants on. <laughs> I think we ran about Don't flash me. more than any other political podcast out there. We're not even a podcast. We just complain until Obama gets done doing work. Let's go back to some classic questions here. If you were to pick a soft drink to consume, would you rather it be Coke or Pepsi? Look at all these bonuses. Coke. I'm just the best at this game. I'll Wait, only drink say, Pepsi Joe? if there's no Coke. Would you Coke. rather have Coke or Pepsi? What are we, 12? We can't have actual conversations anymore. It's just devolved to this. Don't quote me, but we may have covered that topic already. Let's go for a real man's drink. Dr. Pepper or Mr. Pibb? They are literally the same drink. Of course, like a typical Pepsi drinker would say this. That's why you removed my Diet Coke button from the Oval Office. You hate anything that tastes good. Okay, for the record, Diet Coke is not good. Someone mashed Never milk buds and that. Lysol together and called it a drink. Obama, you drink Budweiser and think that's an elegant taste. Wait, what is this up here? A mole? Whatever it is, I just avoid it. Anyways, Obama, they've extracted literal feces from elephants to put in that serum. What matters is what is the preferred drink here, Coke or Pepsi? 
the way Donald went on a tangent. I think you already know his take. You slap a classic beverage in such a Diet Coke, and it's a winner all the way. It's the best, the very best. About I'll a few years ago, you I used to drink Diet entire Coke 12 thing. packs a day. You're joking. I'm no doctor, but if I were to make an educated guess, I would have to say that you most likely have undiagnosed heart disease. How are you going to get a stroke before me? Can't hear, you're too busy winning. Barack, what would be your pick? Are diets even allowed to be included? Sure, why not? Regardless, my pick probably leans towards Pepsi. Coke has always been the more flatter soda, and Pepsi is always one of the primary drinks that you would pick at a restaurant. Democrats and their Pepsi. Next thing you know, we'll be carrying seltzer water in man bags. Donald, I'm about to seltzer your face into a meteor landing if you don't keep it zipped. <laughs> what a threat. You call me the world's best fruit collector. Did you just see what I did to that whole maze? Yeah, but for- And a little bit of history lesson for you. Uh, Coke got a backlash when they tried in history. My sister told me about the history of what the original Coke tastes like. There's always a Coke where, where there's a label original taste and there's just Coke. Basically, what happened before was during their war with each other, Coke and Pepsi, Coke tried to change the formula to appeal to a new audience, like what dumbass companies are doing today. And guess what? No one liked it. Coke was fine the way it is until they changed the taste. So that's why they rolled back that new one and put the label or of original taste of their original make. So you have two choices, the original Coke or the new Coke, which is a lot of stupid things, mind you. That's where the saying goes, whatever's not broken, don't ever damn fix it or it will break you. Like the TV shows and movies right now. Sorry for ranting. This is a reaction video and I have to add my two cents about it. And thanks to that reminder of history and what's happening today, history does repeat itself in different branches of industry. It happened with Coke. Now it's happening with the current entertainment franchise today. Especially when I got a video of Asmongold. I watch his stuff and subscribe to him too. Uh, one dumbass writer, or translator for that matter, people are raging, AI's gonna take our work. If you give a pi- Sorry, sorry. If you give a piss poor performance, you will get replaced. That's how the job goes. The fact that this translator changes subtitles in anime right now, because Western industry and their garbage cartoons right now is going down the toilet because of what they're shoving it, shoveling into it, Eastern manga and anime is rising up. But what do they do? They'll F up the freaking translations. This translator called us bad words because we criticized them changing the script, changing certain words, changing... These are the same people who hate cultural appropriation. Bish! That is Eastern culture and you're messing with it. Who's the hypocrite now? Sorry if this offends anyone, but I, this is just a subject that I recently I got reminded because of the Koken thing. It's just leave things alone. Do not change stuff that's okay right now. It's, it's not, it's working properly. Don't try to upgrade it or fix it. It's already fine as is. If you're going to add something, make sure it's an add-on, not an upgrade, not a downgrade. Sorry, let's continue on with the video. From the looks of it, you uh, uh, didn't really get a lot of faz rating out of it. That's no good. I don't care if we were cleaning the pockets of the king's jacket. I'm not doing anything unless my wallet increases tenfold. That way I can support all my wise, very wise financial investments. I don't know if clowns are the... These look awesome! Too expensive, though. My saving senses are tingling, and they're telling me that I need to build my wealth for now. Or cut me off, and that works, too. And after another drunk driving spree, I can now purchase this beauty of a machine. This is where the money starts to roll in by the truckload. That passive income is stacking up nicely, but I still would like to focus on not getting too much liability. Liability comes and goes in this business, Obama, but the dopamine of marginal profits stays forever. I don't think that's how the saying goes. We're going to put you right here. What a beautiful addition. And let's add some safety straps to lower our liability and a coin slot for some extra token. You're really gonna max this thing out, huh? Isn't Freddy having a bit too much fun in that thing? 
Never mind. I'm popping these pizzas back in the oven where they belong. Donald, I think the spirit of Golden Freddy got sucked into you <laughs> the way that you act like a child sometimes. Yep. Can I play next? Okay, so they explode into slices. I'm grinding this from now on. Oh, you hold the button to shoot. This is a totally different game now. Donald, I think the spirit of Golden Freddy got sucked into you the way that you act like a child sometimes. Why are you repeating it? Can I play next? Are you kidding me? Do you not see the level of skill I'm demonstrating to manage myself throughout this fight? There's even bigger pizzas now, Donald, and, and they pepperonis. spit fireballs. They spit pepperonis, with yourself, not fireballs. You are not built for this. I would be built for this if you would leave me alone. I have to focus here. Oh. Let me guess. You're going to blame that on me, right? Yes. You're darn tootin'. This was just a passing thought, but do you think people have gone to war over music? Here's a the, here. I don't know if you know this movie, but it's an animated movie and it's underrated in my opinion. Uh, it should be more well known. Hmm. Which should I choose? Take responsibility for my actions or blame you? Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Blame you. <laughs> That's how Donnie is in this freaking universe is. I love that quote. And it's just so dumb that a lot of people in the world does that. Believe me, blame others for their own mistakes. Me, if I do a mistake like I edit something wrong, and I know I'm an idiot. I know I'm a moron for forgetting things, not putting it in, or forgetting to just edit the video, that segment of the video, and leave something up there and make me look like a dumbass, that's on me. I had no one else to blame, but you have to understand, I do a lot of videos in certain days, like recording binges, and I have to edit every single one of them and, and do not forget to upload, and sometimes I fall asleep. Do you know that in certain parts of my Mario Party reaction videos of the three idiots or maybe Smitty, I fell asleep on screen. I actually do fell asleep and then I woke up. Oh my gosh, I was still recording and I just... So I had to edit that out, but I left a part of me falling asleep on the video to show people I really did fall asleep. No, but I know people have made rap disses to settle disputes. I think Obama's had a few of those written about him. Don't remind me of the epic rap battles of history that were made about me. Which was that again? We just get parodied so much, I feel like a South Park character. The channel that makes rap battles with historical figures. You know, the name of the channel. We've watched that before. I think I even heard you what say you wanted to be on it, that? Donald. I I'm say curious. that about every show because every show would benefit by having me on there. Well, that's certainly true to your character. Wait, was that the video where I was hurling email jokes at Hillary Clinton? They actually <laughs> made multiple of you, including one where we battled each other. Is it as bad as it sounds? They're actually constructed pretty well. The only reason some of the jokes may be repetitive now is because of how it shifted internet culture. So we're talking about dementia, building walls, ice cream, and being orange. Is that the synopsis I'm getting here? Essentially. That's a hard pass for me then. I find it interesting though, just how many ideas they've spawned in their head. They found the smallest similarities between two people and, uh, Put them at war for their characters. Probably more creative thinking than we've ever done. What is that? Um, what the hell? Someone's playing music outside here, it seems. Do we just live in the poop sock side of the town? Tell security to get them off the property. I just did. Well, that happens to me over here on occasion when people are drinking and having karaoke and you can just hear people laughing in the distance, just singing and other stuff without karaoke and then later on in the night you're gonna hear glass breaking and people shouting so basically that's my neighborhood well it's not all neighborhoods are like this there are certain parts of our country that are peaceful but there are certain parts that are not from time to time in my place it's partially not and i do not go out there just in case well safety overall if you ask me but don't worry about me. I, I have lived in the streets for a lot of years. So I'm used to it and I know how to be careful. So if you're worrying about my health, I'm just doing fine, guys. I love you too. And not in a different kind of way you might take it out of context. And it seems they're not on our property, but parked on the street. Nothing we can do. How loud is the music? They must have a headache preference or something. Let me see what I can do about it. Fee-fi-fo-fum, I guess. 
Just be glad it's not an English man. Turn that racket down. We're doing something of utmost importance. Yeah, they're going to hear that. Uh, they flipped me off. I'll tell you one thing. Nobody flips off Donald Trump. I'll tell you that. No, sir, not one bit. I will allow no such thing to happen here. Take that. Get out of here. Donnie, what, what the, the fuck? What are you doing? He has a gun? Yeah, there we go. Are you insane? What is wrong with you? You just shot at a civilian. You're making it too easy to arrest you now. I showed him what was right when you messed with Donald Trump. You shouldn't be bumping that music in a Prius anyways. You're crazy. You're actually more senile than Joe. Barack. What, Joe? They drove a Prius. What does that have to do so? with anything? Don't get it twisted. I'm not defending him. All I'm saying is that he drove a Prius. Who's more deranged? What am I listening to? I think he had a pineapple balloons Ouch. on pizza bumper sticker too. What does that have to do with anything? Wait, he had what? What? Pineapple belongs on pizza bumper sticker too. Oh no. <laughs> and I was speak I did not know this. I did not watch this in parts. I'm watching the whole series, guys. Like I said, what the freak is wrong with pineapple and pizza? It's not bad. It's not I to like I told you, it's not the spawn of hell. It might not be like to your preference, but it is not that. Dude, if you're gonna rate rate pineapple or pizza, the best I can do is mid, and the worst I can do is it's mm, yeah, no. That, but to treat it like it's a freaking abomination, it's like, dude, calm down, calm your tits right now. Pizza, uh, pineapple on pizza. I'm not saying it's completely good, it's okay, but come on, it's... The one thing I will say what's worse than pineapple on pizza, someone actually did ice cream on pizza with marshmallows and stuff, and I find that disgusting. Keep those two things away from each other, please? Now that's worse in actuality. If you don't know, um, I think... Uh, one of the restaurants I went through had ice cream, vanilla ice cream with chocolate fudge and with marshmallows on a damn pizza. If you ask me for my opinion, I'll take pineapple over that. What does that have to do with anything? Wait, he had what? You heard me. A big old bumper sticker that advocated for pineapple on pizza. I see. Well, well then, continue the game. That's the spirit. I'm sure the people will have <laughs> no problem with what just happened. Yeah, I've done worse. All right, Donald. This is where every decision what, that you've made what is What a justification that is. It's up to you to beat this office part now. Do you think I'll just be winging it like a chicken, Obama? Do you not remember what the world's best security guard did for the first game of this forsaken Ooh. franchise? You're telling me something that happened almost a year ago. Why would I still have that locked away in my recent memory? I studied, Obama. I planned, plotted, and prepared the exact countermeasures that I have to take to survive the onslaught right of these the horrible vent. machines. Oh, a strategy? Do tell, what does the world's best security guard have marked up on his play sheet? Why would I tell you? Just for you to try to copy down my elite moves and for you to steal my glory. Well, guess what? It ain't happening, bucko. I, I uh, uh... All right. Where Donald. are they? He seems confident. Let's see what he can do. Remember the last time Donald took a game seriously, he actually did fairly well at it. Well, you have a point, I suppose. Marty, let me just tell you that I really do not care that you have plungers that can suck the leftovers straight from my gullet. I paid for advertising in my restaurant, not for my box screen TV. You reap what you sow, Donald. Like I said, that's not a problem for me. I already pinpointed Where everything that I need to do in order to have a successful day on the job. Speaking of, this game doesn't have our work in the middle of the night. Right. This is all during the day where customers are inside our establishment, right? That's correct. So how do these animatronics even get into the office? Is nobody concerned that a heaping pile of metal just gets shumped up into the vents like he was vacuumed away? Well, presumably we don't run the most organized establishment in the land. We still have a ball pit that has safety straps. I'm surprised the health and sanitation department hasn't shut us down yet. Remember what I said, Joe? Business is business, and I'm the best at business there is. 
if that inspector even Where steps one they? foot into our restaurant, he will be pleased with the most sanitary and exciting establishment in this county. The very best establishment. Donald, you would find a way to somehow get us involved with shady people. You would probably bribe the guy with a trip to Mar-a-Lago or get yourself in debt with some loan sharks. I wouldn't be playing around with loan sharks. Obama, I am the loan shark. In real life True. or in the game? Up for interpretation. All I know is that there's a dollar in the water and sharks smell green. I don't believe that's how the saying goes, but to smell each blood. their own. As long as you're confident in your ability, I guess that's all that really matters. Like I said, Obama, I'm the very best. So this is ah! Lefty? You just cannot escape the crushing jaws of irony, can you, Donald? I did not There's expect that. There's nothing to fear. That was my warm-up round. This is the game where I take off the glasses and put on the helmet. Who is We're going all out for this round, and I should know because I'm the very best. Well, it looks like you're back at the starting menu. So does it just throw us right into the office part? I guess that answers my question. So something about restarting the office part is that you default to the floor plan when you fail. This allows you to use play tokens if you forgot any and make any adjustments to your restaurant that you desire. Next time you come into my office unwanted, I'll turn you so right that there won't be any more left in you. Now, Donald, I want you to say what you just said, but pretend you're saying that to a Starbucks barista. I'm not swallowing my pride to do that again. Besides, you it's time to lock back in once more again. because business calls. And I'm the Batman of business. Which means you saw your parents get shot in a dark... In actuality, one place in my... Uh, where I work at, there's a hotel, there is a cafe over there, and they make delicious uh, blended coffee, which is a whole lot better than Starbucks right now. And it's a lot more or less cheaper, especially when it compares to them. To me, uh, I don't know how much is 180 pesos for freaking a, for a Starbucks uh, mocha frap latte, so... A mocha frappuccino, not latte. What the frick am I saying? All right, let's see. How many? Nope. 55. $4. One mocha frapp frappuccino is $4. But when I order from Sophie's with their blended coffee, that is a lot more tastier and a little bit sweeter than freaking mocha frapp, it's $3. One whole dollar down, so it's a whole lot cheaper. Even for us. From 180, it goes to 160 or 130, depending on the size. Medium is 130, large is 160. So basically, it's a whole ass cheaper. <laughs> I get more bang for my money. Ain't that a kick in the head? Cali by some petty thief. If only am I right. Those sponsorships that you willingly accepted are really coming to your rescue at your darkest hour. Would you keep it down, Obama? I'm trying to hear He's what at the dark monstrosities are crawling around my pizzeria. If we had any bit of common sense in us, we'd make our patrons sign a legal waiver stating we're not responsible for any bodily damages. You want to run that one by me one more time? I think you have a cigarette it's stuck William. in your throat. Why are you turning away from it? He's right there at the edge of the vent. I'm luring him away with audio, Obama. And you were right. He's sitting right next to us like we're courtside at a Denver Nuggets game. The best thing we can do right now is be quiet. So how's those financial decisions doing you so far, Donald? That is such a stupid thing. And he's actually in the vent now. Time oh to have a staring contest with the darkness. In all fairness, if we never my accepted the salvage like I advised you to, we Hello, would not darkness, even be Hello, darkness, my old space. friend. Is he still there? It doesn't help that I can hear them thump around the vent like we're in the second game. So what's the game plan to get some forward progress going, Don? First things first, it's to get this nut job out of the vent. <laughs> ah! Who was that? That was a great game plan, Donald. You did get him out of the vent. Um, and the into your problem office. with that was you got him on our lap. Are you sure that you don't need any help passing this night? Oh, no. I'm positive that Barack could lend a helping hand if you need it. Don't insult me, Joe. Uh, I have everything under control. Everything. Still got everything under control, Don? Without a doubt. Ah! Spring trap. Are you kidding me? Always come back. Come on, please. Actually, it's trap trap. Well, just Is like this trap, gonna trap be a jump scare I'll be montage? back better than ever. 
Donald, just change your pronouns to they, them, because you are not him. Well, if you're wondering why did was, it, was there a pause, it was lunchtime and I needed a break. So this is two hours and I've been f uh, recording stuff nonstop and binging stuff. So basically, we still have one more hour to go, I think, judging by the time. Let me see. What? Yep, we almost have one hour left to do. So I might might have might as well get my lunch and get me prepared for the entire day so rather than interrupting at midway so this is an early break and then I'll, i'm off to recording another video so i'm getting the leftovers right now from both christmas and new year there's a lot of things left over so yeah and this is the last of my root beer so no one else is gonna have it so it's mine before you start the game donald i need to go to the bathroom I have to take a call too, so I'll also be back in a minute. Don't take too long. I have leftovers I need to microwave. I don't care if your name is lefty or righty or slightly horizontally angled to the northwesty. Uh, if you and your pals even think about taking a step towards me today, there won't be a mechanic alive that will fix what I'll do to you. I brought you in here for five dollars, but I can take you out in less than five seconds. And I want you to never forget that. Do you hear oh, no. Does he even know you have cameras around here that you can access oh, at any gosh. time? Oh my gosh. I don't think Don even realizes we're not the real presidents. Wait, what? What? <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> Joe with the I, metaphysical uh, bullcrap. I, I said I don't think Don even realizes we're not getting presents for Christmas. Oh, I don't think he would really care about that. That's true. Let's you just can go buy back anything. in there then. Yeah, good idea. All right, we're back, Donald. That's good because so I started you were just... it anyways. I got tired oh, of waiting. Oh, you you that confident in your ability to get past the night? You have had a bit of trouble. Stop doubting the world's best security guard, Joe. Do you not remember that I assessed my abilities before I started this session? Uh, false confidence has worked previously for you, so uh, maybe you can finally go up to bat for this one. False confidence, see how huh? you play your yeah, cards, right. Donald. The game is already. We call that bravado. Mode. Ready to lob these fastballs at you. I just hope you're ready. I'm always ready, Joe. I have to be. I'm the world's best security guard. Why would I be eyeing down an empty vent if I wasn't? I guess the most we can do is let the cards play themselves out. Where are they? Where are they? After all, this is made harder with multiple animatronics after us. How are you going to handle the stress? Joe, I don't know if you lost your brain matter during that call, but I think you can brain clearly matter. see that I'm using all the tools I can to do my bidding. Except silent ventilation, I apparently saw that it was terrible. You're not wrong about that one. It isn't really the best. It can come so in handy sometimes, but it's more of a useless feature. Looks like you have the hang of it. And, and there's the game. you just... It's, it's like a YouTube ad just came in hot. Quiet, Obama. I have two bogeys on my flank right as we speak. I have to two? keep quiet as a mouse. I, I think I just heard him move. I said, quiet, Obama. These tricky little spawns from the crypt love to play tricks on your ears. I'm going to do a scan now to see what's going on. You were going to do a scan. Now you're going to be sitting in the back of a hearse. Of course someone would be attracted to that noise. Do you guys not have a customer's frontal lobe to bite off or something? It's still you? Can you get out of my vent now? You just All might right, be cornered William. here, Don. Okay, I think he left. <laughs> I always come back. Did your raisin sack shrivel up down there? That was just... That was probably the least masculine scream I've ever heard, Donald. When I get my hands on this caramel coat of crap, I'm throwing him in the toilet where he belongs. Very ironic, considering the outcome of your last encounter. You were just at the pooper. Don't make me send you back there too, Obama. You were just at the community tab. Don't make me send you back there, Donald. I will say, uh, you guys do have some creativity when it comes to taking photos for the community. Ask and you shall receive what? them. I deliver when the people ask. That's what Donald J. Trump is all about, after all. I was more so talking about what you guys do for the pictures. I simply ask for a picture of a package, and I get delivered Barack and you just posing outside of a UPS building, standing like you're Jesse Pinkman. 
You will never believe how that got taken, what? by the way. Well, now I'm interested. I guess a listening ear is a running mouth, isn't it, Obama? So let me set the scene. It's 2 a.m. and I was about to head to bed for the night and I got a ringer from my personal phone from none other than Donald, not his assistant, Donald himself. So I'm thinking it could be an emergency. I considered it pretty urgent. So I pick up and all I hear from the other end is, meet me at this address and hurry. Pretty ominous. So I'm speeding down the road, probably going 85 or so, because I think that Donald finally ticked someone off and is being held ransom. Right, especially with the tone of things. Tell me why I pull up to the building and I see this ogre in the parking lot with an Amazon box in his ogre. hand and a tripod in front of him. Oh boy. Obama, whether you were angry or not, you have to admit that the picture came out looking spectacular, truly spectacular. What is that Mostly picture? because I was in it. Is that why you look so angry in that picture? Yeah, because I had to be up at 7 a.m. sharp, and I was under the impression there was an the emergency. Heat. Meanwhile, the only thing in danger was my mental well-being. Too much Donald will do that to a person. In my opinion, you guys don't have enough of me. I'm the best, the very best that a guy can be. Just imagine if we were roommates or something in college. Too much Donald will do that to a person. I'm probably on a watch list over there. Um. Lefty, I told you to stay away from me. When I get my hands on you back at the floor plan, I'm treating you like an so... ear cleaner. Third. You know what? At first, I was scared. There was no jump scare. Now it's nothing but a montage. The first one you can tell because you got security cameras and you can see it coming. Four, uh, but not but that four was worse because you have to listen and you don't see it coming. You just have to guess. And sometimes barely you can tell with the... You can barely hear the breathing from time to time. This is actually worse. You can't tell. There's barely any audio cues. I can barely hear the vents. At the same time, the scan to know where they are. It's just a blind damn guess. The scan takes too long for you to figure out where they are. Are they at the left or at the right? Are they at the vent or are they far from the vent? I can't tell if it's coming or not. That's... All right. All right. Let me just... Ah, I hate this. Time's the charm, they say. Quit the harassment. I was being distracted by the conversation at hand. My head's out of the clouds now and in the game. So let me get in my groove. Deja vu, anyone? Deja vu. Marty, you stop trying to plunge my butthole tight. I'm trying to work here. Ah! I knew it! It's a sweet. Those ads are killing you. Donald, are you going to let a roll of brown paper towels at a gas station bathroom talk to you like that? <laughs> Will you stop being so What did he say? Haven't I told you? But fitting. Look here. Ah! Bitter sweet. Bitter sweet. But fitting. Donald, are you going to let a roll of brown paper towels at a gas station bathroom talk to you like that? Will you stop being so condescending? Haven't I told you that I'm the world's best security guard? After a little bit of adversity, we'll be right back on top. Second attempt. I was looking at the vent. How is that even possible? Easier than I thought it would be. You're absolutely getting put in the spring lock suit tonight, Donald. No remorse from William. If you need help, just ask. Remember who you're speaking to. I am the best, the very you're best around. You're barely even showing us. Contrary to popular belief. I'm going to jump off of a skyscraper now. Per verbal obligation, I said that if you need help, just say so. Per verbal obligation, Joe, I'm here to remind you of your mistakes that you made in life. Which wrongdoing are you picking from Santa's naughty list this time? Your brilliant idea to treat our microphones like they were old Sony speakers. Don, none of that would have happened if you didn't wreck the setup because of some stupid fly. I still stand by my original actions. You don't understand the sheer annoyance of a pest constantly buzzing in your ear. I sit by True. you every day, Donald. I think I know what an annoyance is. Peanut gallery is a no Same talking to you. Zone, Obama. Anyways, you what was talk. I saying? Something about bringing irrelevant issues up from the past. Yeah, the mic of 87, I saw it floating around in the comments. You have to admit, that's a pretty clever nickname for what we did. Yeah, instead of a skull getting crushed, it was our future hopes and dreams. How long until you're going to drop it? I said six months, Joe. I have a quota to fill. Really loving those ads, huh? 
Besides, I'm sure our community doesn't want you to hatch any more revamp plans. How are you even talking and playing right now? For once, I have to sit on Donald's side here. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I know you, you just wanted to polish off a couple things, but just because something is newer doesn't mean it's better. That's something I would say. A picture from your playbook, if you can call it that. Looking back on it, I presumably should have aired out a test video before we just implemented it into an entire video. We were just so pressed for time that day that I wanted to get it out. Can these ads calm down for five minutes? Why do they keep stalking me? I'm trying to get my work done here. The ads ran once at least. Once per ads. you don't have to worry about them throughout the rest of the night. Great. Now we're just kicking back in the middle of the a heat. sauna while we have killer mutants trying to come down a Pringle can. I'll be impressed if you can find a way to slip out of here alive. With that many tasks to do, it'll be a wonder if you can get past them at all. Well, it would really help if we didn't have side conversations about dead primary leaders or whatever soda we like it. Allow me to focus and keep the trap zipped up. That is true. We don't want to be stuck on this night forever. Yep, I hope so. I think I can speak for everyone when I say that it would get tired after the third video about it. Like right now. He's sitting right in the vent. Keep the smack talk from reaching your mouth for about 10 seconds or so. Okay, may the fat jokes ensue. Don, you only have one more task to do. This is an easy hole in one if you let it be. Silence, I need complete silence. <laughs> We're done. Now, that's what, what I'm talking about. First attempt, just like I said it was. Something tells me that we have a backlog of previous footage that says otherwise. What about the past half hour that were blown on attempts to beat the night, Don? Uh, yep. I have dementia. No, you don't. I'm the one with the issues of memory over here. Who are you? Now, stop making those jokes. <laughs> uh, uh, what's your name? Joe, what the actual <laughs> f are you doing to our channel? What? Why did you just barge in here? These past few weeks have been a literal catastrophe. Are you actually falling asleep on the keyboard and letting the drool type for you? What's going on? Well, I've been kind of tired with the Christmas announcement. Besides that, there hasn't been a problem, has there? Are you There's sure no about that? There's no way you're a sentient human being. Okay, let me give you examples of what has gone on under your care recently. What am I looking at here? This happened a few days ago. You reused the details from our old PT video, except you forgot to fill out the new video details. Do you know how stupid you made us look in this? It was an honest mistake. I was really rushed for time when I was assembling it. It was like five Seriously? in the morning. Give me a break here. Did your assistant just fall off the face of the planet? Whatever happened to him editing? He's on vacation right now. So, so who's I'm editing for you? His roles for the time being. Joe, you ingot, you are the standing president. Oh, I'm filling in for his roles for oh the time being. Oh my gosh, he is Joe, filling in. you ingot, you are the standing president. Ingot. You were sworn into the Oval Office to manage the duties of running this country. If you're doing this, what's happening at the White House? I am a candy cadet. Can oh no. Uh, is it too much to ask what I walked into? No wonder oh, hey, the Obama. US is now in the toilet. I'm just criticizing Joe for slobbering all over the keyboard. That's a joke. Don't get angry at me, please. Existence. It's well, a looks joke. Like that isn't a valid option. Joe, what's going on? Donald's pointing out that I've made quite a bit of mistakes recently with the channel. From the mic quality to video and titling errors and think it's just built up into this. I really am trying my best here, but sometimes age really is a factor. And now here comes Pity Party Joe over here, streamers and all. Okay, Donald, I don't like ganging up on you anymore because of the classic liberal versus conservative cliche, but what do you actually do? You're like the DJ Khaled meme, but for fat billionaires. You simply don't understand the process behind such business etiquette. Leave the intelligent thoughts for those who use it, Obama. Donald, you rubberneck swine. You sit at a mahogany desk all day with a big red button to deliver you diabetes in a can. You're not that guy, pal. What am I supposed to do with that information? You want a Pulitzer or something? They're practically giving those away now for the price of breath mints. You could probably use both, actually. 
Stop it with the smart oh, remarks. Shit. Help Joe out more with the channel than just typing in all caps and fantasizing about fighting robots. We might actually make more progress too and more games for the world's best security guard. You're lucky you threw in that last part. Good. Now that that's all settled, let's try not to badly injure ourselves at an inspection. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. Another one. Who's this? Wait, why was that impression actually kind of good? He makes a good DJ Khaled. Oh, you gotta be kidding me now. Who else is gonna show up the entire Spanish Inquisition? Stop flipping it well, off. We lost that last salvage, and so there's no other choice now but to pick this thing from the garbage. Donald's been slapped on a shish kebab and roasted all day, and I can't believe I get to see it one more time. I'm still going back to flipping the checklist like a madman. I need to keep up to date on their status and if they're about to inhale me like a five course meal. Don't be afraid to give these things some shock therapy. There's a reason why you have three free shocks before anything is damaged. Remember last time what happened. Stop flipping the board, this it's not like helping. This is the engine sound of a 1985 Cadillac. Document results. Wait, did her head just move? I think I did see a little wince there. Is that its third phase? Yes! You know what happened last time I took it a chance? It keeps flipping the damn again. thing! I saw an eyeball, Obama. It was popping out like a claw machine stuffed animal. Well, there's one shock down. How much does the salvage go down if we shock for four times? I believe it gets cut in half. The fifth time is the most important time. How does this even give us money? It's not like we're using the metal for scrap. We're throwing it in a ball pit. I can't wait for this to backfire. Stop flipping the damn freaking thing. Haven't I told you to keep your head down? This is how the Russians treated protesters in the 60s. I think it could still be applied about today, Don. Her head just twitched, by the way. Even though you've already shocked her twice, she seems to be super hostile, don't you think? I think Ballora stuffed a minarine in her ears because she clearly isn't listening. Now we have no other shocks to dish out. Well, now we're at the point where she's going to get into the restaurant no matter what. It's just the possibility of making profit from it. The next office part should be really fun, huh? The clip didn't even play. What in this universe compelled you to move your head? Can robots pass gas? Why? Yeah. You keep the flipping the damn sheet! Baby, you might actually be worse than Balloon Boy. I want to treat your head like a toilet bowl and take a fat leak. Look, a thousand! Yeah. Now the salvage is only at a thousand dollars. If we shock again, we might really take the tank of a price. Even though she moved, I'm not shocking again. I'll take this thing to the dirt before I do that. Well, there's her third stage. I guess it's just luck now. Document results. You have there's no such thing as luck when the world's best security guard and business owner exists. Well what do you know? Don didn't get his head split open like a pinata this time. Did you have too many controlled shocks? I am the boss, and if you have a problem with that, you might want to be a bit less conductive moving forward. You're missing the point, Don. I think she's trying to say that not everything is as it seems. Well, thanks, Captain Obvious. I didn't notice the zombie rabbit standing in the corner with a party hat and a glass of punch sucking on Candy Cadet's bubblegum balls. What do you mean by that? I'm absolutely contorted on all fronts for how ridiculous it is to charge $71,000 for a tarred bird with Botox. Something tells me Why? that you were advantageous of a lower price or something like that. Not in a million years. Think about it. Do I really want a polished chicken with hip dips? Where's there any financial benefit in this purchase? Who knows? You might be able to get her to faz pole dance for everybody. Obama, start pinching those pennies and balancing that budget because we have some saving to do. How is this a real conversation that's going on? Looks like you have another sponsorship offer. Let me see. Like it was, deal. Give me money now. Of all the words in the English vocab, I'm not sure that desperate even measures up to what I would describe you as. I'm actually at a loss of words right now. I am slightly confused here. Are you actually gunning to get fun time, Chica? Do you think you can even get the funding by then? Not really, I was just running with the joke. While she does 
have childbearing hips that any woman would be jealous of. The uh, short-term goal here is to build up gradually. <laughs> this is not a financially uh, smart and safe investment that we can put our money in. Remember, business is art, and we shall not rush art. So do you ever think about what you're going to say, or do you just kind of force it out of you like a soft taco supreme? I just, just, I, I give up. What? I think I actually give up now. Never back down, never, never walk. Ate By the tacos. way, for gaining Faz points, never do. I highly suggest the rocket game mode. If I'm correct, it's the maximum amount of points you can get at this very time. With that being said, it's also a lot more fun to play too. Looks like I have something else to be the very best at. Well, it, it looks like we're about to have yet another grinding session in the works, so I think it's safe to say that we might have to unarchive some discussions here. What's all to talk about, really? A big one is Christmas. Can you believe it's already that time of the year again? It just seemed like yesterday, me and Donna were putting candy canes in the kids' stockings. Now it's plan B. No one's fault but your own, Obama. No one's fault but your own. And it's your own fault that you steer as good as a Sea of Thieves skeleton. Sea of Thieves? Mm. That game really fell out quick. Barack, you have the opportunity to do the funniest thing of all time. I don't have it in me, Joe. That's like becoming the fertilizer that cows roll around in. And I'm not stooping down to the level of a cow. No, you'll just become the fertilizer itself, Obama. Stooping to pooping is what runs in the household of the Obamas. Mr. and Mr. Obama should be ashamed. You don't even have the grounds to make that claim, Donald. You're going to rope in some irrelevant scandal from yet E. Wait, did you say Mr. and Mr. Obama? I think we're getting off topic here like we always do. <laughs> did you that say that it's the time to celebrate Christmas? Before you decide to come down from the high horse and share any holiday traditions, Obama, the only sort of liberalism that I'll have at the dinner table is sharing food for all. That's how we do it in the Trump family. There we go. Okay, you're telling me that I ran into that thing. In what Buzz Lightyear universe did a pixel of that even come close to the meatball? Can a man talk about the spirit of Christmas during the holiday season without being treated like a wolf in a chicken coop? Christmas is a great time, after all. Snow what? falling, bells ringing, red and green decorations blanket all the surfaces that the eye can see. It reminds me of simpler times, times the world was united. Joe, you're talking about five years ago when I was president and I was at the forefront of uniting the world. Did you see all the things that I was able to accomplish? We almost had world peace until a cup of Joe and an IV fluid bag came crawling into the White House. Can we go five seconds without unloading last night's meal onto our chest? We're grown men, gentlemen. Refined men as well, or at least we're supposed to be. I'm a refined man until you get me on the rocket ride at Freddy's Diner. Then I'm nothing but a filthy animal that's about to be the best that no one ever was. I am wasting precious seconds of my life waiting for an intelligent answer that will not surface. Let's carry on without him, Brock. Oh, oh. And Yap Station Central loves to go silly on my willy over here. You guys go talk about Hallmark and Honey Smoke. Oh, what are you talking I'll be about your the willy? Citizens of our country from this delicious All the pizza. things. Donald, you're like the kid at a Burger King that starts whining if he doesn't get the cardboard crown. Okay, so how many fast points can we actually get playing this game? I believe it's five or six thousand. It's not easy to get though. It really takes some strategy. Have you even considered what you're saving up for? It's easy to invest in silly things like a Coke bottle chicken, but to make all of our lives easier, I plan to invest the profits into personal upgrades. What exactly are you talking about? We need our tasks to be faster during our time in the office. That's why I need to have a bit of extra money before we finish in blueprint mode. The big problem, very big problem, is that we don't know how much those upgrades cost. Everything upgraded in the office would cost you $1,900 in total. And I, uh, that is terrifying. That is absolutely terrifying that you just knew that off the top of your head. Lizard Man Joe changing colors again. Hey, Don, look. I think you found the strategy to avoid the pepperonis. Of course I am. When there's a will, there's a way. And the world's best security guard always finds a way to prevail. I think it's the knockback that the bullets are doing to the pizzas. You're able to stay alive as long as they don't swarm you. It all comes down to balancing that knockback. We got the king of the Italians now. Oh. Looks like he's a bad aim or two because all I'm doing is standing still. I won't complain though, easy fast points. Yeah, Don, I think you might have this one in the bag. 
Everything else is pretty much useless against you now. You're right, it's just too easy. And just like that, Donald Trump is top dog again. Appearances told us that you were at the top of the food chain. So we need $1,900 as at the end of the shift to make this easier for us. With that being said, I think it's safe to say that I want to buy something that's affordable but high in bonus revenue. The gravity vortex is too much of a risk for me. There'll be an unattended child that'll get swept up and thrown into the, the ceiling that? vent. You're telling me that dreams I do come true? I never went on rides I like this when I was a kid. Really. I can't handle wait, wait, roller wait, wait. coasters or any bonus revenue? Well, freaking high speed movement. Well, my slithery slew and call it my golly goo. That might be the best deal I've ever seen. That was a really big purchase, Don. We don't have enough money for the upgrades for the office. Silly little leapy Joe Biden. Do you not remember that I have more play tokens at my disposal? I'll simply gain back more than what we lost and we'll be in the green for the office segment. This certainly won't have any negative repercussions. All right, let's see what this bad boy gives us. They call it the prize king for a reason. <laughs> Barack, I think he just fucking died. What? Quick, pop the champagne. Okay, so the pop first the thing I'm going to be doing, the very first, is upgrade is our equipment. that all? There's the tab, and there we go. Time to sit back and get some easy work done. I wouldn't necessarily say easy work, but like I said, these upgrades will expedite the process. Quick question, Joe. Do the uh, upgrades fast. go away when we die? And if they do, do we have to repurchase them with new money? Thankfully, no. Once you purchase everything like Donald just did, it's a permanent decision. That's all I need. And now I'm dead. Well, isn't that just great? Donald, you need to lock in. Well, with all four of these things active and possibly more in the next few nights, I really don't want to be struggling. There's still on this more forever. nights. It's how episode many times seven. have you said that, Obama? And how many times have you heard the one and only world's best security guard respond? Pay attention to noise, Don. That's probably one of the most important factors in this game, similar to FNAF 4. Motion detector and audio work great but they're not entirely reliable. You need your innate security guard and businessman nature to do they're its job. They're on both sides! Give me a second here. One. All right, don't be smart. You never were anyways. Is it clear? Okay, I think we're good. And Every we're not. Wacky warts pace just clogged the AC and I have an infestation of creation coming down my alley. Uh, Donald, I think you might want to tend to the, the overheating. Heat. I don't like the thought of being in a Dutch oven. Is it too fitting to say pizza oven? Is this what the illegal aliens see after we run out of space in Arizona? <laughs> I always come back. Phew. This is going to be a long recording, isn't it? Yeah. Right. This is the golden run. We got our big boy pants on and our hearing aids cranked to the max. Are you sure? Not even a mouse would get past me. Are Keep you in sure? Mind that they can fly down the vents now that you have all of them. They'll be attacking in short bursts too, so you really got to keep on your toes. Of course, my customers are too busy devouring fruit punch to notice the vent monsters. I wonder if they hear the ads too. That's got to strike fear in the pockets of some poor parent down in the galleys of the restaurant. Probably the sound of the world's best security guard piling up his bag while he has to fend himself off like a dead rising game. <laughs> ah! Bittersweet, but fitting. I can't With tell. With all due respect, Donald, I think I've lasted longer on two hours of sleep in a Pepto Bismol. You want the keyboard next? You get the keyboard next. Wait, what is this? What the? It's Scrap Trap. Interesting. We seem to have this weird what? aura of luck. First, Shadow Bonnie, then some other rare screens in FNAF 4. Shadow now Bonnie? This. So you're saying we got another rare screen? I cannot believe we willingly looked at this car crash victim and said, yeah, let's bring him inside. This is what senior citizens look like after eating at Golden Corral for two hours. Well, that was a donut hole. Golden crack. Corral? And at the end of the alley is the entrance to the restaurant again. That doesn't give us a bypass on the night, does it? Scrap trap carved inside you like a Picasso painting. You tell me, Donald. Okay, this is my absolutely last attempt. Then you're taking over, Obama. I've been filled with cream like a donut stick, and honestly, I don't think I can take another refill from Scrap Trap. I wish our forefathers, like Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Jefferson, were here today to witness the defiling things that just seep from Donald's mouth like an overabsorbed sponge. 
at that point, I think they just would have headed back to the monarchy of England. You guys always want to throw insults when my back is turned. But beware, these thick cutlets of muscle have ears of their own. Then you would think that you would be able to hear them come up from behind you, but uh, it still seems like we're struggling on this office part. Don't look now, Obama, but we might be finally making some real motion now. As soon as this despicable ad stops lubing the inside of my ears, I can get back to fighting for my life. Well, at least you're actually fighting this I'm closing time my instead eyes of flopping in, on the floor like a fish in out preparation, of preparation, guys. I might recommend that you do the longer task Whenever the next ads time. That way it's just the easier stuff that you have to manage. My strategy is all main line, Joe. I have the very best strategy, the very best. I highly Fort doubt Knox that, Mr. I highly doubt right that. At this you very buster. moment. This isn't much of an office. Um, um, we have some old Sprite I can hear that. from LeBron, some crinkled up warnings from the tax department, and a monitor that looks like it was used by Jared Fogle. I see, uh, the Joe Biden classic. Uh, uh, and these drawings too, there's no amount of words in the English dictionary that come close to the similarities I'm seeing. I'm not even in the line of fire, but I'm catching strays. I think these little pipe cloggers run around in a corn maze until they magically find my luxurious hair blowing in the air vent. Luxurious. How do we even have a treasure map of vents in here anyways. How have you just started noticing these small details when we're almost halfway done with this game? I'm also almost halfway done with printing these supplies, so take your condescending attitude and ruin the gas prices with them. I think both of you are focusing on the wrong things here. You don't even know what focus is, Joe. <laughs> How does this happen every time? No, I'd find you. Every single time. It's like watching a blind person fall down a flight of stairs You're and next, trying not to Brock. laugh. You're next, Brock. You're right about this being a long recording session. We're only 10 minutes in and it feels like we've lived through half of a James Bond movie. I'm sick of vanilla ice and ice spice running for presidency by posting rap videos and twerking montages while I'm trying to live through a battle royale. If you want the stage, <laughs> go ahead and take it. Schizophrenia right, is meeting on TV, so I'll let you handle the mental patient and take over, Joe. I don't think patient to patient care is allowed. Donald, I have absolutely zero clue what you're talking about. That might have possibly been the easiest night I've ever done. Oh, but the intern is not going to show all the times he failed, is he? All I'm saying is that I wouldn't. Are you sure? Stickers. Saturday, you want them all to be in one. Did place. they just cut? Did Saturday. Barack even fail? Why does this guy talk about all in one place? Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. Great, this again. Well, since I already completed the office part, I might as well complete the inspection too. Checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or Wait, no one is here? To, Already inside? You mean there's another animatronic that got in? Damon. What now? Please make your choice now? That's lefty. I You're think. telling me that we only have one choice? What? What just happened? Don't forget Saturday. You want them all to be in one place. You already said that? What are you even talking about? Joe, what did we do wrong? What else got in? Before you freak out, let me explain. Lefty, who was $5 on the shop, was actually going to be a salvage. That's why he snuck up in the vents and why we were attacked by salvages only. None of the other modern animatronics got to us. This game is constantly modern. reinventing the wheel. And all I'm trying to do is run a business off of a flat tire known as Obama. And somehow, even with a flat tire, Lightning McDonald left me in a hit and run. Can the Guys, modern the even attack even you? talking about anymore? I like this nice little bump in our income right here. A calm seven grand a day will help keep the homeless crackheads away. And a shiny new ball pit too, of course. I thought we were getting the anti-gravity spinner thing. The one where it looks like it'll cause your colon to flip inside out and start doing the limbo. Listen, Obama, I'm here to make the numbers go through the graph. If we're talking about the typhoon that wiped out half of Japan, it's from the rare finds auction and some kid might pre-order a head injury. So what exactly do you have in mind to purchase? Before I consider anything, I have to review this sponsorship. 5,000? Uh, yes. You really have no thought for how we are going to survive in the office. You know that? The numbers, Obama. <laughs> we just had to witness that increase Mr. in revenue. Krabs, this is what money. empires are made of. We will but overcome adversity money. through tenacity. Well, now what's the plan? You know what? I'm feeling a bit spicy today. Not exactly big cash, but let these little head stumps lose a shoe in this thing and their parents will be buying pizza for hours. I'm not against that. The only thing that I have a concern for is the massive amount of liability that we've netted. 
Since we have already purchased pretty much everything under the sun when it comes to equipment upgrades, we don't have to worry about upgrades later on. You can spend away without really any concern. That's all I needed to hear. Time to get a second mortgage on my house. All right, time to put this baby to the test. Give me the money ball pit. I'm not even being mean when I ask this, Donald, but, but how did you miss that bad? In the words of Big Sean, last night took an L, but tonight I bounce back. I will say those faz points are quickly climbing the tower. Now to avoid a second hip surgery. Oh, what? You're kidding me. Medic. Humpty Dumpty did not have a great fall, buddy. Medic. You just sustained some minor brain Just make trauma. sure it's not Doc. And the little mascot outlasts a couple of broken necks and keeps his long-term memory for another day. Oh, would you look at this greenery? Prepare to crack that skull again, Handy. You're getting put directly in the line of fire. Uh, Donald's fast point addiction isn't something I allotted on my December 2023 bingo card, but I won't complain. <laughs> Business is about sacrifice and building off of what others lay down. If a couple of head injuries take place, you throw them a gift basket, and they forget all it's about it. Pizza like life. I said, business is an art form, and so is the art of the deal. I told you this already, Joe. Shave off some of that ear hair so you can hear me next time. Those are cotton balls, Don. I use them when you pop your voice box to the aero engine setting. Can I borrow one? I don't know. The inside of my ears look close to the Vietnam War. That's a funny way of saying civil. Donald, what are you doing back here? Listening to the intrusive thoughts. The Burger King needs to come down the street and slap his brother's gold tip. Uh, the fact that you went back to this thing after it gave you a heart attack is dedication. If gambling ever taught me anything, it's that most people quit before they strike rich. So make sure to keep gambling no matter what. Not no! sponsored by Caesar's Palace. No! What? And strike three, he's out. I don't know if the you gambling don't do records that. are favoring us right now. $5,000, let's go. Are you serious right now? What luck? I told you, poor spirit politicians, that I had a feeling we had big payouts. Remember, kids, this is the game. This is not reality. When you grow up, do not waste your money gambling. Invest it. Make sure you have something to use when you retire. Taste the dirtiest part of my sack. So now that you're ahead, now it's the perfect time to quit, right? Just because you get ahead in the first lap doesn't mean that you quit the race. Now it's time to really put the pedal to the metal. This game hates to see a white man winning. With Donald blinded by riches, it's safe to say that I'll just be doing the, the office part from here on out. I'd rather Your not turn. be caught in another mousetrap for five hours. Okay, you really saw the way this game is poorly programmed and you decide to blame me for everything? It does get difficult, but this game is the hardest to figure out the strategy. Yep. Compared Even if you to the look others? up the techniques like you did, a lot of this is really just trial and error. I'm going to kick RNG my own shins for at this sure. point. Good Scott luck. voted for me, but can't tell his animatronic creations to not target the man who makes his games great again. Yeah. I was just getting into the entire fandom when all that went down. And did you know he got quite the amount of criticism when it was revealed he made political donations to the Republican side? Yeah, and a leopard has spots. I mean, imagine making a donation to the Salvation Army and you get flack for not enabling Philadelphia with crack addicts. Opinions and morals are illegal to them. Listen, all I do is sign some papers, hold some conferences, and play some horror games. I don't scroll on Tumblr and try to look at the sweat glands of Freddie Fazbear. I'm too locked in on the vent sounds, and all I hear in the background is sweat glands and Freddie Fazbear. I can't leave you guys alone for five seconds. Let some old men ramble, Obama. Just focus on keeping cool in your sauna. I don't want it to fly under the radar, though. You're that doing rhymed. a darn rootin' tootin' good job, Barack. Just make sure to keep the ventilation and the heat in check. Didn't know we were recording with George Bush over here? Bringing back Texas and obesity, are we? Ironic, but have you even budged on the whole George Bush thing? really making me repeat myself here. Look, we're both Republicans and we have similar policies, but he has the audacity to come at me for weak security when you look at his presidency. I'm avoiding him like the plague. Okay, so while Donald has kept his grudge match with every human being alive, I'm on my last ordering task, and then we only have three more maintenance tasks to do. Although we're doing really good, I don't want it to get to my head. It's not a grudge. I just the don't need the scent of the whole Florida head. Everglades brushing through my nostrils. 
and a list of many other things too, but it is mainly the stuff he said. Okay, only two more tasks. Let's keep noise at a minimum right now. I really want the to heat. get through this first try. You're borderlining it. Is this gonna be, this, this place is gonna get this set on fire? Rock. You got this. Get me out of here, get me out of here. How did you just? Someone call a fireman and tell them I'm smoking this game right now. Donald, you might just have to relinquish that title of yours. Yep, Don't you, you dare failed. start that again, man. Obama gets on a lucky hot streak and I get grilled for a fluke. Donald, I don't think we can forget the smosh montage of death that you gave us. Yep. I also gave us 232 returning customers. How about that, Obama? You haven't secured the profits, I've and secured for lawsuit? this company. Somehow, with dumpster fires for management, we have yet to burn the restaurant down. And with what? no new lawsuits, we don't have to go the insurance fraud route. Give us some time. We got absolutely zero profit yesterday. This gravity vortex is still way too expensive. Well, when you can't do one thing, talk to the prize king. I think that's in the Bill of Rights somewhere. I would add it to the Bill of Rights, but I think you might kick it out to the highway after a few times playing. Don, this is going nowhere. Stop gambling our tokens away. Just one fun time, chicka! What? Go what? nowhere? Suck me dry, Is Obama. that the 79,000 you know animatronic? Means, right? He has the Chica animatronic showing a lot of skin. Someone get that glitter? Might have to pop one out really quick. No! This is an interesting decision, Don. <laughs> no! Why did you purchase doors, <laughs> of all things? No! This is an interesting decision, That's, Don. That, get that glitter? That Brock Might screen. have to pop one out really quick. No! This is an interesting decision, Don. Why did you purchase doors, of all things? I gave up on the gravity vortex, which I'm super upset about. But you never know. Maybe this will slow down the scrap heaps from hopping into our vents during the office. I can assure you that it won't. I mean, I guess it was worth a try. Well, look at our palace that we built at the end of our first week. Wait, isn't there an event or something? That speaker guy wanted us to do something. Oh, no. Do we have to do something specific during the office segment? Or did Donald forget to do something during blueprint mode? No, blueprint mode is fine right now. And as far as the office part goes, it's just best to play out as routine as it is. Let's hope we're not here for five more hours doing it. If this is foreshadowing, I'm drowning you in the ball pit. All right, uh, well, uh, this is where everything comes together or falls apart. I'll be honest, if you guys could keep the side conversations at a minimum, I would really appreciate it. No problem. We'll keep it shut. As All long right. as we get through Copy this, that. I don't really care. I'm still the best security guard, though. You can keep the name tag as long as I can keep my ears. Brock's the best at this one compared to the other ones. I noticed that completing the printing tasks first might be the move. Get the longest and loudest task out of the way. Let's me hear a lot more. That is smart, Barack. This hurts me not to talk. What is our audience supposed to do? Just sit there and watch us play games? Yes. Don, that is literally what they already yes. do. The only difference is that we talk about felt teddy bears and attack each other's character. Fair point. I'll go back to being quiet. William is here. Knock, knock. William, I understand you're fascinated, but please keep it out of my face. And maybe consider a Tic Tac while you're at it. Just giving you comms really quickly. <laughs> what does he even smell like task. anymore? Like trash? Only the other two sections to go. Thanks, Joe. Or still a decaying corpse. You're letting it get too hot. Might want to throw on the fan. Thanks for looking out for me, Joe. Yep. Might not know what to do without you being here. Might as well crawl inside of him at this rate. Okay, this is the last wave, guys. This might be smooth sailing, and then we'll be home free. Here we go. Jinx. It's getting too hot.
Are they really coming at only one direction? Last one. And then blah. The heat. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That was First so attempt, close. Barack. You're a madman. You're the best. I'll admit it. You did very good, Obama. The absolute best. I simply couldn't figure it out. This game is truly terrible. You played right into our hands. Circus, baby? Did you really think that this job just yeah. fell out of the sky for you? No, I was peer pressured. No. By an old man. This was a <laughs> Joe. Basically, Joe peer Excuse pressured me? you to this. Sorry, I'm talking over the video. Sky for you. No, I was peer pressured. No. By an old man. This was a gift for us. What? Excuse me? You gathered them all together in one place. It's a trap! Just like he asked you to. Oh, no. We're hmm. done. All of those little souls... In one place. Souls? The queen of yapping is back. Just for us. Are you gonna scoop us again? Now we can do what we were created to do. What? And be complete. Complete? I will make you proud, daddy. I'm not proud at all. Watch. Gross. Who's no. daddy? Listen. And be Who's your daddy? Be full William? of William? Connection terminated. Wait, what? I'm sorry to interrupt you, Elizabeth. If you still even remember that name. But I'm afraid you've been misinformed. What the? Why is this guy here? Receive a gift, nor have you been called here by the individual you assume, although you have indeed been called. What's going on? You have all been called here. Just Same listen. question. A labyrinth of sounds and smells, misdirection and misfortune. A labyrinth with no exit, a maze with no prize. You don't even realize that you are trapped. Your lust for blood has driven you in endless circles. Oh! The cries of children in some unseen The animatronics are trapped. Seeming so near, yet somehow out of reach. But you will never find them. None of you will. This is where your story ends. And to you, my brave volunteer, who somehow found this job listing not intended for you. Volunteer? Although there was a way out planned for you, I have a feeling that's not what you want. I have a feeling that you are... Right the temperature! Where you want to be. What? Oh, are you gonna burn it? I am nearby. Wait, the this heat. This place will not be remembered, and the memory of everything that started this can finally. FNAF one. As the agony of every tragedy should. What's happening right now? And to you Whoa! What the? the She's burning. Be still, and give up your spirits. They don't belong to you. Oh, this he's setting your spirits fire. free. Ready. There is peace and perhaps more waiting for you after the smoke clears. Although for one of you, the darkest pit of hell has opened to swallow you whole. That's right, spring so trap, burn. Burn crap trap. My daughter, if you can hear me, I knew you would return as well. It's in your nature to protect the innocent. I'm sorry that on that day, the day you were shut out and left to die, no one was there to lift you up into their arms the way you lifted others into yours. And then what became of you? I should have known you wouldn't be content to disappear. Not my daughter. I couldn't save you then. So let me save you now. The, it's time to rest. The puppet! For you and for those you have the marionette! Your own. That's what she's called, right? This ends for all of us in communication. Game over. So every three games, we just start forest fires? <laughs> In fact, this is the sixth game, week. right? We apologize if your situation wasn't presented Wow, to you everything burns at the third game. First started, but it was important that your intentions and actions be genuine. We died because Here of that. Beer entertainment. We value fun, family, and food. And death. But more importantly, we value our commitment to atoning <laughs> That's one way for to past say it. mistakes and tying up loose ends. Past mistakes. Thank you for your participation. There is no need for you to return to work next week as Fazbear Entertainment is no longer a corporate entity. What? Please accept this certificate of completion. Goodbye for now, and thank you for taking this journey with us. Okay. How, how, what, 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 I, I, I don't have the words right now, but what Pop Tropica Island did we just get done exploring? That's how the game ends. What even just happened? Joe, you better get those lips to start moving because you got some extra explaining to do. Yep. Well, Give us the Lord's dumb. entirely truthful to us. Um, 
we were hired here to, to run our own restaurant, but the main goal was to gather those animatronics all in one place. Those were souls trapped in those animatronics, and the guy that hired us intended for them to be released. What a snake. He was talking about setting up this elaborate scheme, but he also talked about his daughter, too. Apparently, she was a victim. Not just a victim. She was the victim. She was the child that died outside the original restaurant and became the marionette. This is also why he says such distasteful things about oh. Scrap Trap. Who is William Afton and the guy that murdered his daughter? So this entire time oh. we were just doing his bidding work? You would do anything it takes to get your children back. And if you can't do that, at least know they're in a better place. And then what, we just went up in flames? Yep. Exactly, everyone went down with the ship, the man speaking included. He wanted to burn the entire place and wanted to finally end everything. So he had us help. What about FNAF 3? I thought we freed the souls then. We freed some, but not all. After all, why do you think William is called Scrap Trap? The cutscene with him outside the restaurant is him after he escaped Fazbear's fright. So this game takes place after everything, including sister location. Which is why Circus Baby looks like that too. Wait, was she close to him as well? He called her Elizabeth so he knows who she is. That's for the lore recap. There's still a lot more we have to cover with this game. Of course the party never ends. So to spoil some obvious answers... Oh, there's a video there about it now, endings four days ago. However, it would be nonsensical to play through all the endings solely due to how much time it would take. Wait, how many endings are there? In total, there's six, but we're just going to be seeing the final six outcomes. Endings. We won't be actually playing through any of these. And Martin Scorsese says cinema is dead. Well, I had nothing important to do besides something for Michelle. Between mutant animatronics and an angry wife, I'll take my chances with Scrap Trap. You gave it your best <laughs> shot. You wow. You put all your wow. eggs into one basket and did the unthinkable. Yes, sir, we you did. Ran out of cash. What? While Donald's we getting trauma flashbacks. To follow their dreams, we also recognize a lost cause when we see one. A lost there cause? There are no do-overs, and we trust that you know your way out. But before you go, ha! take this certificate There's no way. Now, There's now a certificate a for that? Get lost. You can't be laughing, because I got us that sweet, sweet certificate of completion. I'm surprised Don didn't single-handedly cause this ending himself. It's almost impressive, considering his hotels look like crack dens now. Okay, so oh, what else really? do we have in the shame factory, Joe? When's the car crashing into the building and There's causing There's a Trump Tower over here in the ending? Philippines. So this it ending is good. if we denied it every single good. salvage and kept our restaurant at the bare minimum. Bottom of the barrel we're talking about here. Interesting to see this one. Congratulations. You've completed a full week on the job, and you've done it in such a lackluster way that no one is proud or disappointed. Excuse me? It's a fine line to walk, but you did it. Completing your job with such an efficient level of laziness that we're surprised you're How able to is lazy efficient? Sounds like Don, all right. Such a minimalist work ethic is rare. It doesn't mean that we want you back. In fact, it means you should look for employment elsewhere. Of course. But before you go, certificate of mediocrity. Certificate of mediocrity. Wow. This is just to be proud. You stood on two feet and convinced someone that you could do something when, in fact, you couldn't. Now get out. Uh, in other words. I present to you a collection of recent U.S. presidents. Hey. Don't worry, I'm including all of us. Hey. <laughs> you have no reason to be surprised. Joe, maybe, but you know. If you haven't recognized the common theme, it revolves around certificates. I know that sounds boring, but hold on to your seats because it gets interesting. Who died this time? Congratulations on completing the week. Unfortunately, you did not meet your special obligations under paragraph four. Your employment is terminated. We'll mail you your things. End tape. Wait, what? We got terminated because we didn't fill our special obligations? I don't know what he's talking about, but I don't get on my knees for anybody. The way you could get this ending is by throwing a salvage in the back alley. It's actually a good thing that Donald never threw one back there because it is required for us in the contract to complete that obligation. Oh. Failure to do so would lead to termination like we saw here. You're telling me Donald did something right? How does it feel to be bested once again by the world's best security guard? Of Donald, course. we died so many times that James A. Janice is talking about us. I don't know why they're there other than to die, but they definitely do that. All right, so the next oh ending is where God. things get a bit more <laughs> interesting if you count. catch my drift. The only drift I caught was the old man perfume that your wife helped spray on you this morning. It's like Old Navy met a prison ship. 
it's a good thing we don't do watch parties because half of us would expire by the time the film started. Yep. Congratulations. By some miracle, you've completed a full week on the job. It is me, Here after all. At Fazbear all. Entertainment, we encourage a healthy spirit of entrepreneurship, which sometimes means taking risks. Donald moment. But you took it a step further. What now? You were reckless and borderline criminally negligent in almost every decision that you made. What? So much so that you've been deemed a liability hazard. What? For us. It is you, we'll after all. We'll mail you your final paycheck, minus the costs of wiping the security footage clean and erasing all trace of your employment from our files. This is so don't stupid. Don't feel like you're leaving empty-handed. You have been blacklisted. blacklisted. Donald. You'll be lucky to oh, ever that? find employment in this town again. Now take care. It's just fitting to your name at this point. Yeah, 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 The only yeah, tycoon yeah, game yeah. they have so far. And of course, it loops in your specialties of bankruptcy and blacklists. Game must be cheating again. Fine by me, as long as I get out of this pathetic pizzeria with my head twisted on right, they could put me on the rainbow this list. This video for all is I basically care. gang you up with You don't have Donnie. to worry. I'm sure a couple of artists have booked you on that for years. All right, gentlemen, this is where the knob gets turned up on the stove. Not like we already got baked like Papa's Pizzeria. Wait, why are we in the catalog? I thought we were focusing on the endings of the game. You don't have to worry about that. We still are. This is how we get an ending, by purchasing great value Dr. Robotnik. I mean, he has a red rocket the size of a Chaos Emerald. The specifics aren't what's important, Don. What matters is the result of these specific actions, to which you're about to see in a second. All right, so what's the magic that you're referring to? For this ending, you turn off the monitor. Then you place the cursor on the, that button right there, and then you would hold it. It's only now that I understand the depth of the what depravity the? of this creature, this monster that I unwillingly helped to create. Blueprints? As if what he had already done wasn't enough. Did we discover his plans? To desecrate, to humiliate, to destroy. As if the suffering wasn't enough, the loss of innocence, the loss of everything to so many people. Small souls trapped in prisons of my making, now set to new purpose, and used in ways I never thought imaginable. It must be. He lured them all back, back to a familiar place, Back with familiar tricks. We caught him in this caught ending. Them all together. Are they still aware? I hope not. It keeps me awake at night. I could make myself sleep, but not yet. Not until I undo what he has done and heal this wound. He's talking about William. first inflicted on me, but then one that I let bleed out to cause all of this. He set some kind of trap. I don't know what it was, but he led them there again. He overpowered them, again, and he robbed them of the only thing that they had, again. Again? I don't know how those tiny breaths of life came to inhabit those machines. And I do? They will never find rest now, not like this. I have to call them all back, all of them, together in one place. So this is if we found out about his plans. Congratulations. You went somewhere you weren't supposed to go, saw something you weren't supposed to see, and prevented a tidy resolution to a messy problem. Needless to say, you're fired. You caused this. But before you go, take this certificate of insanity. Insanity? We're giving it to you to ensure that no one believes you and to ensure that we can promptly replace you without incident. What? There is a truck waiting for you outside. What? Take care. Take care. I tried to take wow, care of my own living and breathing body and I got he got rid of you. for that. This guy's a walking poop what sack. An so the reason he said all that was because we discovered his plans to free those souls and he needed to get everyone in one place to do so. Also because you know that we knew he couldn't allow the truth to get out. As such, he prevented us from doing so. You know, I've never felt more mentally exhausted from a game. What other horrors do we have to witness? Just one Same. last thing. Wait, what? is this the credits? No, this is after you get the lore keeper ending. It's about certain mini games, but it's just about the puppet and one of the murders, most of which you already know. All the I'll kids. show you after the recording. I'm honestly just so exhausted I want to get done. Yeah, that's not going to upset our audience at all. They won't be able to hear our reaction, which is us staring in silence and then screaming like a Mr. Beast fan. All jokes aside, this is relaxing. Remember that feeling of relief we got once we got the good ending for the third game? Even though we were a sacrifice, we did end this. It's done. I would suggest to play that song now if it wasn't copyright. Actually, my assistant did say he learned it. 
I think there's a video on here somewhere if you want me to pull it up. Sure, why not? Uh, would make for a good segue to whatever we're doing next. If this gets copyrighted again, I swear. He's got some talent. It's been two hours, guys. Give me a break. I'm falling asleep. I had to fight to make sure I don't fall asleep on camera again, guys. So if you're wondering why I was silent for a majority of it, one, I have nothing to say, and I'm just reacting to what's going huh, on. It's just bad. beyond well, me. Well, that's a wrap, boys. On to the lore recap. Someone help me. It's Donald Trump here wanting to thank all of our members for supporting us. We can't thank you enough. If you would like to become a, a member and see exclusive content, click the link in the description. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy that. People have been asking me to react to this. Ah! It's two hours. Guys, one hour was a stretch enough when I was starting the channel. I react to Russian Badger's best of every year it's an hour plus long this is almost two hours and i added more into it so i'm gonna take a break until i record the next video that's gonna be coming up for the channel so hope you guys enjoy this and with the lunch break i had yeah i'm getting sleepy so I need to edit this, had it render, and I'll just take a nap, and I'll get back to you. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys enjoyed my girly screaming. That's the reaction you wanted from me, I think. So, I'll see you next time. Buster here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Hope you guys enjoy this one. And I'm finally signing out. See ya. It might be another President's video, but you can't guess what's next. See you there, or be square.